dad and myself would like to thank you guys for coming and celebrating CJ's birthday tonight. And um, old friends who drove from Yucca Valley to here, thank you Amy. Shelby, Shelby is CJ's friend from way, way back when. And uh, thank you very much for everybody. So those that are wondering what is that white roses, that's actually a start of a dance of 18 roses where CJ will be dancing with 18 guys. So uh, the first dance will be the dad. And then, and then it will go on and, and then the boyfriend is supposed to be the last dance. So, and, um, so this is a traditional Filipino dance we're in celebration where it's a coming out party for a girl with 18 years old and um, we watch CJ grew to be a beautiful inside and out she's a beautiful lady she's a woman now and we watch her grow we watch her play soccer when she was like nine years old she doesn't even know how what she's doing she's just kicking the ball and and her dad and myself there all the time and um, we are so proud of her we're so proud when she was a homecoming queen in eighth grade and um, fashion has always been part of her life and I wasn't surprised that she decided to go to fashion school after high school and so to CJ please May you walk the runway into your success. Here, here. Happy birthday, CJ. Happy birthday. son as soon as we came over here in California and um, she's he's one of um, CJ's friend that we met and thank you Connor thank you for doing this I'm the sap they go to the go first um, so I don't know I met CJ uh, sophomore year and at, at Santee Lakes um, <laughs> I remember just uh, Aaron and I, who would be going next maybe, uh, we would always hang out with CJ after school, uh, sophomore year, at lunch, stuff like that, and she quickly became one of my best friends. And I just remember, you know, uh, she was the new girl, and she was really sweet, and then she became, you know, really good friends with me and Aaron. And uh, I always remember going over to her house, and her parents and Josh were always so welcoming, and they treated us like their adopted sons. And uh, just remember feeling like we were part of the family, and uh, felt really welcoming. And it felt like we welcomed CJ, but they were really welcoming us into their house. And uh, I just really want to thank them for everything and congratulate CJ on the big 18 and thank her for letting us come out and celebrate with her and thank her for being a great friend. I love you, CJ. All right, so uh, Connor said most of what I was going to say. Okay, so I'll talk a little bit about the first time we met CJ. Connor and I were at the lakes. Um, we met Maddie and CJ. Uh, it was during one of the movie at the lakes things. And uh, I think it was like Happy Feet or something. But um, it was a Disney movie? Yeah. Okay, so we recognized Maddie from like a mile away, of course, because she's really loud. <laughs> and then, um, well, she had a friend with her, CJ, and of course, Connor and I were wondering who this girl is. And, uh, well, we wanted the usual things. Is she cute? You know? Uh, and, well, we meet her. Um, we can't see her face at all. Yeah, that was too bad. We couldn't see a thing. But Connor, of course, is talking like always. Can't shut him up. I don't. I don't think. I don't think Maddie can even shut him up. Like, that's, that's pretty tough. <laughs> um, but 
Anyways, he starts talking and he says something about like how you can hear how CJ has this North Carolina accent. And in my head, I'm going like, she sounds like she's from Southern California. But anyways, I just went along with it and uh, nothing really came of that, but just thought it was a fun memory to share. And uh, we ended up becoming really great friends and uh, I'd like to congratulate CJ on turning 18. And so happy birthday and thank you to the Eddie family for adopting Connor and I. <laughs> And then also with us, the whole, we couldn't tell what CJ looked like. We actually had to like re-meet her again another day because we had to go, oh, this is the person who we met. I was really confused on where the microphone was going, but I guess it's gonna be. Okay, so um, to be truthfully honest, I don't remember anything about the Santee Lakes and Connor and <laughs> But I remember that. It was dark. Oh, well, I guess, okay. Um, I remember the first time I met CJ was, I think, the end-ish of sophomore year, or like the summer going into junior year, because we were going to the beach. We all just hung out at the beach, and I just remember her like being super chill, and someone who I, um, be quiet and someone who <laughs> I became, I knew I would become really good friends with. And then throughout junior year, um, we just became closer and closer. And just like Erin and uh, Connor, I would go over to her house like every day and bug Joshua, who <laughs> he knows I love him. <laughs> and then mom and dad were, were always there to just be funny people, because they are. That's you guys, yep. <laughs> um, and just all senior, all junior year, and like all senior year, even though we didn't have any classes together senior year, or we don't, we still are, we're still like very close and everything because CJ is a really good friend and she is one of my best friends and she always will be. And happy birthday Thanks. so much. <laughs> about my beautiful friend CJ. Well, me and CJ have known each other for three years now, and she literally feels like a sister to me. And I'm so lucky to have her in my life. We all need genuine friends that we know we can always count on for anything, no matter how silly or hard. And I honestly believe that person is CJ. I think the, perf I think the perfect quote to describe our friendship would be that many people will walk in and out of your life, but a true friend will leave footprints in your heart. And you, CJ, being the wonderful person that you are, have truly left footprints in my heart. You've taught me so much, and we've been through so much together that I honestly cannot picture these past three years of high school without you. You were one of the best, sweetest, most amazing friends a girl could ask for, and I hope you will always be my friend. You have grown up into a beautiful lady, CJ, and I love you with all my heart. Happy birthday. <laughs> Okay. okay. I bet y'all know I'm gonna read anyway, so I don't need a microphone to be able to talk. I need to uh, project my voice loud enough. Um, she'll probably make me cry too, but. Aww. Aww. Yeah, it's been great, you know. Yeah. But, uh. You know, 18 years ago, she came into our lives. Yeah, so like I said, 18 years ago she came into our lives. 
as of tomorrow she'll born to Camp Pendleton. Um, the happiest moment and every day, year from then on when she was born and even up until now and in the future I know it's only going to get better and I wish her nothing but the best um, and whatever she decides she wants to do. School, college, we've always been there to support her. Um, we both had to go through knee surgeries, not at the same time, albeit, but um, we lived through that. Um, it's just been awesome. Couldn't ask for a better daughter. So thank you again. I love you. So at this time, we're going to start with the dance of the 18 Roses. And it's a start with, where it's a father-daughter dance. And then the 18 guys that has um, the roses. So please just slowly, slowly just go and walk in the dance floor and then dance with her. One second, sir. No. <laughs> 10 seconds. 10 seconds. 